Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Uh, I am coming to you with a big yarn haul. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to get a order from Daremores today, but they seem to have lost my package. I don't know where it is. I can't seem to get a hold of anybody. I sent an email to Daremores. They haven't gotten back to me. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, uh, before I get started, I just wanted to show you uh, this kind of, well, it's it's kind of, it's happy mail, but it's not happy mail. <laughs> but uh, as you know, and if you don't know, you better go check her out. Granny D from Knit Pearl and Squirrel, she's always raving about these bracelets called Sas Sashka bracelets. And it's a company that um, has women from third world countries. They make these bracelets. They the cro crochet beaded these bracelets and uh, it helps them have a better life. So I jumped on it <laughs> because every time I see Granny D with her bracelets that are up to her elbows, um, I have, I just, I'm like, I need one or 10 as it were <laughs> so this is the company and I received mine uh, these three are all kind of the same they came together and this one is a little different hang on let me see if I can get closer <laughs> Kind of looks like snake skin. It's really cool, eh? So I just put them all together. Now I got a couple more. I I bought a red and black one for my daughter Tia, and then I bought a rainbow one for my daughter Ashley. Actually, I bought two for her and her partner. And those are already off in the mail. They're already gone, so I can't show them to you. But the, this one is kind of similar. Uh, there's something I can put it behind. See, that one's kind of similar to the ones that I sent her. Aren't they pretty? And then I got this one in the mail. I, I did the uh, mystery, the two mystery ones, and now I'm on the monthly, get one, like one a month. <laughs> so I'm addicted. <laughs> so, oh, sorry guys. So that's the next one. Isn't that pretty? And then this one couldn't have come at a better time and you'll see why look at that christmas colors why hashtag christmas in july fairies <laughs> so my winner is going to be getting this bracelet so yay um this bracelet, this one that I showed you, is going to be put into a giveaway. Not sure when. Uh, and yeah, so, so I will show you monthly now uh, what I get every month. Okay? Okay. All right, so I just got this. I, I went out and I came home and this was on my doorstep. And this is from Hirschner's. Oops, sorry, Bailey. <laughs> and this is nothing spectacular. But I haven't used it before. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's Red Heart Soft. 
And this color is Perry, as in Periwinkle, I'm assuming. Uh, and it is, of course I didn't, again, no glasses. It's a medium four. And there is, uh, 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 uh. holy cow, it's 100% acrylic. And, oh, there it is. It's 141 grams, 256 yards, and 234 meters. So I got three of these in a pack. And then I got, I've used this before. It's really nice. I haven't done this color though. Oh crap, my ball band came off. Okay, so we'll take this one instead. This is the Premier Every Day. And this color is <laughs> um, sea glass or glass. I think it's, I think it's actually sea glass but it just says glass. Um, the reason why I got this is because of a blanket that I am going to be doing. I am waiting for that Daramore's order and uh, a Lovecraft order that's supposed to be coming in for the blanket that I'm going to be doing. That is a spectacular kaleidoscopy uh, kind of blanket. So I'm ex so excited. So that's one of the colors that's going to be in it. Actually, maybe this is one of the colors too. Now that I think of it, I think this might be one of the colors as well. So I am so pumped. Can't wait. Okay, so that's that one. Holy cow, I have no room. All right. Uh... I'll do this one first. Oops. Ugh. Okay, this was from Premier Yarns. I got these um, Spangle. They're the ones that are on for sale for like two ninety nine, I believe. 249 sorry uh and they're like they're in their clearance section and i don't normally use this kind of stuff but i wanted to try and use it with like a black or a white and see what comes up so and the reason another reason why i don't normally use this is because excuse me you know how in some um some yarns you get this kind of a <clears throat> color uh, the, this kind of a texture and it's scratchy I didn't want that this is actually kind of soft it's I mean it's not bad so I'm assuming that once I get it mixed with another yarn you're not really going to be able to feel it that much if you've used this before let me know what you think because I'm feeling it and it's feeling kind of soft so uh, it's got a little bit of a crunch, but it's not that bad. Uh, and then this spangle, oh, I guess I should tell you the color. It's a light three. And the color is confetti. Yeah, so that one's confetti. This one, look at that color. Like, really? Oh, it is. It's really soft. Wow. Uh, this color is Caribbean, Caribbean sparkle. Yes, it is. And I'm telling you, the sparkle is not showing up as well on my camera as it is in person. But it is really sparkly. It's, it reminds me of the old tinsel that you used to put on your tree back in the day. It's like that, but it doesn't feel like that tinsel for sure. 
So I am really surprised it's this soft. Wow. Okay, good to know. All right. Then I got some Premier Anti-Pilling. Oh, this is so squishy. Uh, it's Everyday Medley. And the color is gray marble. Kind of reminds me of the Heather. Oh, it is really squishy. Wow. That is really soft. Oh. Okay, so I got six of these. I may have to buy some more. Because I didn't think it was going to be that soft. That is luscious. Wow. Okay. That's a bit of a shocker. All right. And then I got some Premier Basics. My go-to for a lot of stuff. Oops. And there it is. And it's just white. Just white. And I got five of these. And I think I got this for a blanket. See, I go and I get, I buy yarn online thinking of a project and I, I go, I get it. And it's like, mm, I can't remember now. <laughs> I think I bought this because I don't have a lot of white and black in my yarn, which is really weird because all of my clothes are black and white. <laughs> but like those two base colors, those are those are like a staple that you need to have in your yarn stash. And I don't have it, like, which is really bizarre. I think it's because I, I'm not in hat mode right now. A lot of my hats, I, I use that as an accent color, um, or not an accent, as a base color. Um, so I think once I get into doing hats again, then, you know. This, everybody knows what sweet rolls are. I have been pushing it away and pushing it away and pushing. I put it in my cart. I take it out of my cart. I put it in my cart. I take it out of my cart because I just, I never found a color that I liked. And I just thought, you know what? For the amount of money, I just, I was like, no, I just, no. Um, but they were on for $4.99. And I just thought that they were going to be really small cakes, which they are, but the yardage in them is huge, I think. Yeah, see, there's 245 yards, 224 meters. That's not bad. So I found a color that reminded me of my mom. So here's the sweet roll. And here's the color. Now, all of you OGs that have been with me from day one will know why this reminds me of my mom. My mom was a fanatic about Dusty Rose. This color right here. She had her whole house in Dusty Rose, and I kid you not. Uh, her bathroom, she would crochet everything, like those toilet paper dolls and uh, carpet for the toilet and the back cover for the toilet and the mat in front of the bathtub, all Dusty Rose. Um, her chair was Dusty Rose. Her couch was Dusty Rose. The mo the <laughs> the fifth wheel, everything in there was Dusty Rose. The carpets, the walls, the chairs, everything was Dusty Rose. It was just, it was, it was insane. <laughs> it was really insane. And I just, I never wanted to see Dusty Rose again. But you know what? After my mom passed away, I fell in love with Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose and Claret. Those are my favorite, favorite colors now. 
Um, and I think it's because my mom is crocheting through me. Um, because before she passed away, I never crocheted and she passed away in 2008. And that's when I picked up a hook. Um, I never knew how to make a granny square. I never knew how to make a chain, nothing. And all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but my mom was like, I need to crochet something. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I was making blankets. What? <laughs> so my yarn obsession and my crochet obsession, I believe is my mom and she's having a heck of a good time. So now I'm getting dusty rose. <laughs> so yeah, so this really, really struck me. Like I was like, yeah, definitely making something out of this. So I got three cake. No, I got six cakes. <laughs> I got six cakes of it. So these were $4.99 uh, each, each. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to using those. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, so that's my premiere. Okay, now, oops, I'll put these back in the in here doo, 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 doo. okay did everybody happen to see my bling cap check this out bling 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 yeah hello <sighs> when i saw this my first thought was i know somebody who would love this. Can you guess who that is? Can you guess? Bet you can't. <laughs> I'll put it right here <laughs> and I'll link her channel down below. <laughs> okay. And no, you can't have it, sweetie. It's mine. <laughs> Although I almost thought about buying one for you and sending it out. <laughs> so, okay, I went to Walmart because I had to do some grocery shopping. And I I don't know, like, last, last summer, um, I showed you my Nanaimo mug that I got that had the little spoon. Well, they had more. And this these ones are different than the ones that I have. Here's the Nanaimo moose, mooses, and it's got the little spoon that goes with it so that you can stir your coffee or tea. And then here's the maple leaf, and it's got Nanaimo BC on here. Okay. So does anybody know who this is going to? Yeah, that's right. Laura! Mad Mimi's crochet. Guess what? I bought this for you, honey. <laughs> so I'm going to be sending this out to her. Surprise! <laughs> and this one is going to be going probably to um, the grand prize winner for the Christmas hashtag Christmas and July fairies. So, and it's got a spoon too. So, yay! Okay, um... And then I found this, like, there wasn't a whole lot of yarn in the aisle at Walmart, but this was the first thing I saw out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, ah, oh, have to have it, right? It was $5.99. Again, Dusty Rose. <laughs> I just thought of that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's Hometown, <laughs> and it has Dusty Rose in it. It looks really pink, but it's, it's like a light Dusty Rose. <laughs> Okay, so this color is Salem Creek. Isn't that really pretty though? I mean, oh, yeah, it's, oh, man. So I got two of them. I don't know what I'm going to make from them, but we'll see. And then I 
happen to see this. Is it just me or is it when you see the Michael sign and then you see that? You get all tingly inside? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, but when you see a big sign like that at Michael's, you have to go in. You know, it's just, you have to go in, right? And surprisingly enough, considering that they had that big sign, there was nothing on sale really in the yarn department. There was a couple of things, but nothing major except for these. I've been looking at these for the last few weeks and they've been, they came in and they were new and I was like, oh, they are gorgeous. But I went, mm-mm. I'm not paying $11.99 for that. So, oh, they were marked down significantly. How much were they now? Uh, $4.99, I think. Oh, where's my thing here? I'm pretty sure it was $4.99. Yeah, $4.99. I was like, I'm on it. And there wasn't a whole lot left, but I grabbed what I could find. The one I wanted isn't, isn't there. It's so pretty. It was like, oh, it was so pretty. It had burgundies in it and stuff. And I was like, oh. Anyway, it's the Bernat Velvet Stripe. Hello. Isn't that beautiful? I was just like, oh. I have big hooks now and I am going to try to try something with this. So this color is Lilac Haze. It's a bulky five. It's 100% polyester. And there is, where's the doo doo doo? Okay. It's three holy cow 313 no 315 yards 288 meters in this that's a lot of yardage for a little cake like this so i grabbed four of each of each of, each of these colors i got that one And this color <clears throat> is shark skin. It does look like shark skin too. It doesn't feel like shark skin, I'm assuming. <laughs> so that, I really liked that. And then there was this one. Now it's coming up kind of pink, like really pink in here. It's actually more of a peachy color. Mm. Yeah, it's more of a peach. It's really pretty. I'm not usually a peach fan, but this one, I don't know if it's because it's got the gray and all that in there, but it really struck me. This one's called Whisper. It's so soft. Oh, yes. So I was really happy to get these at, at, at a sale. And I may end up going back and getting more. I'm not sure yet. I'll see how it works up. Okay, I also got some beads. Now, these are so cute. Hopefully you can see them. Oh, come on. They're little butterflies. They're glass butterflies. Can you see them? Oops. Aren't they cute? And then I got some clovers. Oh, can you see them? And I got some, oops, come on. There we go. 
And these I thought were really cool. I'm going to take them off and I'm going to put them on separate, like on stitch markers. All of these are going to be stitch markers, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. But they are astrological signs. So you got your Virgo, your Taurus, your Capricorn, your, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to put those and make them stitch markers. So these, uh, I think these were a buy one, get one free. I believe. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. So, or get get one, but yeah, buy one, get one half off or free or something. So yeah, I'm going to make those all into stitch markers. Now I can't remember if I showed you the stitch markers that I've been making, but uh, here I'll show you. So remember I showed you last time I did the haul from Michael's, I, I got those poop uh, beads. There's one of them. That's turtle poop. <laughs> so, so all of those are in my Etsy store, which the link will be down below. Uh, this one. Oops. This one is uh, toucan poop. Two toucan poop. <laughs> Oh, funny. Yeah, toucan poop. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's a, a few others. But, um, yeah, so those are in my Etsy store. It's $10 for two. Um, so, yeah, so these are all going to be put on stitch markers as well. Okay. <laughs> So that's everything guys, I think, for now, until I get my other orders. So thank you for watching and thank you for all my new subscribers. I got a whack ton of them that came in. I, I know it was for the Christmas fairies, but you know what? I don't care. I am glad to have you here and I really hope that you stick around. Uh, so the hashtag July, hashtag Christmas in July fairies. Everybody already probably knows about it. Uh, go check out my playlist. I've got, I keep adding as I see them <clears throat> uh, come in. And did you see Krista from the Secret Yarnery has just announced that she is now a fairy. What? Are you kidding me? Like, oh, that is so awesome. So she's doing five giveaways for patterns. Like, holy. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, so yeah, go check out my playlist and go and fly and go check out all the different fairies and subscribe to them and comment down below. Make sure that you watch all of their videos because there may be a question that you have to comment on or not. Um, so don't just assume that if you make a comment on their channel that you're going to be entered because you won't be if they have a specific question that needs to be answered. So you need to watch it from start to finish. Okay. Also, um, make sure that on the 15th, when we do the draws, make sure that your YouTube is set as being able to be seen by everyone just for that day. And then again on the 25th, because if we pick your name and we don't see you on the list because you haven't checked that off, then you're not going to be, you, you, you may think, yeah, I'm the winner. But if we can't see you on your, on our subscriptions, subscription list, then we have to pick someone else because that, that is one of the stipulations. You have to be subscribed to our channel and you have to make sure that we can see you on that channel. If you're, if you've checked it off and you're not sure, email us and ask us, can you see me on your list? Okay. So there you have it. And it's getting close. Ah, it's like, I don't even know what day it is today. Today is what? 
I don't know, there's like six days or seven days or something until the first draw happens. It's like, it's coming up fast. So yeah, so make sure that you get your names in and uh, good luck. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, okay, bye.